Hey guys, I'm here with you with the new AT&T Tilt 2. Uh, it's been out for about a week now from the Premier Network and as of the 18th it's now available on the uh, personal website as well as in the stores. Uh, you can pick one up for anywhere between $349 and down just depending on how good you are at bargaining with these people and uh, being willing to sign the contract. A couple of tips to have in mind is mention that Verizon's phone is cheaper, $199. Also discuss the coverage. And if you've been with AT&T for a while, you ought to be able to get them to knock something down. Uh, you want to go to a department called the Retention Department. All right, that's the best advice I can give you for right now. Aside from that, uh, I know one of the first things you want to do when you get this phone is you want to look at the cases and the screen protectors out there. Uh, I did some research to see what was available, and a lot of people have talked about what's called this mirror finish on the case, and uh, excuse me, on the screen protector. And uh, I looked on YouTube, as most of you probably would, to see if there were any reviews. A lot of people raved about it, that how cool it looked. Um, I was a little disappointed though because everybody seemed to discuss this screen protector with the phone off, especially on the iPhones. And maybe it's because it's an Apple customer uh, that that's how they decided to re review the product. Uh, but to me, it's most important with the screen actually on. So I was kind of surprised at that. Um, the bottom line is it looks pretty snazzy from the outside when the phone is off. It's that mirror finish is promised. Uh, the HTC version uh, will work for the AT&T. You'll just have this hole right here for the uh, the front camera that's not on the AT&T version. But other than that, it fits just fine. Um, it does appear to be very durable and resistant. And it's very easy to apply because it is marginally thicker. Uh, this is the version that comes uh, with the uh, UV protection. It's all the P PET material. And it's pretty thick. So, it, like I said, it's easy to put on and it seems to do the job. But, drum roll please, it is horrible to look at. The reflection is ridiculous. Anybody that has a mirror finished screen cover that tells you otherwise is lying. That's the bottom line. Another problem with it uh, that I have at least, and I don't think I can show you in this light, uh, but when you have the phone and you're looking at it, because the cover is so thick, it's three actual layers, it takes the ambient light from around the room, particularly the fluorescent light, and it makes a rainbow effect on the phone. So you can actually see uh, the, a rainbow pattern like you can with water uh, kind of mist over it in certain places when you're using it. Uh, it draws a lot of the light away, a lot of the brightness and uh, to me it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why anybody would put this on their phone. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I bought it from but I will say this, it was a really reputable company on eBay. Uh, they had their own instructions on how to do it and uh, everybody has said a lot of good things not only about the company but about this. It got to me in a quick manner. Uh, I just am surprised that everybody will review this based on how easy it is to put on, based on the quality and based on how well it looks with it off, but nobody speaks about how it looks with it on. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this video, just give you a couple of tips with dealing with AT&T and also to say, hey, stick away from one of these. Uh, if you want a good cover, there's a couple of different ones out there. Bodyguards has a full cover for the whole phone with the screen protector. Uh, InvisiShield, there's a couple of different names out there. BoxWave has the clear one that's supposed to be the best in terms of clarity. They also have the anti-glue that's supposed to have a more of a textured surface. I've heard it described kind of like paper, uh, so it's e still easy to go through with your, uh, your stylus or your finger. But just keep these in mind. Stay away from the mirror finish if you actually use your phone and you're more curious about the function uh, than being that iPhone kid and enjoying the way it looks on the outside. All right, that's it. I'll have more for you as we go on looking at how to unlock the device, a good programs to put on it, as well as how to tether it uh, through the AT&T network. 